Hello, this is Mrs. Howard, and today I'm going to show you how to create a Google form which can be open only by typing in one word. So here, here's how we do it. We're going to start by going to a new form. There's lots of ways to get there to open up a form, and this is the form template. You're going to want to title your template, so I'm going to call this Maze Clue number five. All right. Now, when you're creating this form, the type of choice that you're going to use for the question is short answer. We want somebody to enter the information to unlock this form. And our question is just going to be, who am I? And we're going to make that short answer a required piece of information. We also want to give them a response validation. So over here, we're going to just say it's text. And the text has to contain exactly one word. In our case, it's Ozzy Mondias. Capitalization is important. Spelling has to be accurate. In the event they're typing it in and they're typing it in wrong in some way, you need to give them some sort of message that says they're making an error. I like to just say keep trying. So once you've done that, you need to create something up here in the settings that's going to give them a response letting them know they've successfully opened up the form. And that happens under settings and then over here under presentation. I'm going to unclick all of these boxes and I'm going to give them a confirmation message. I'm going to go up here to preview. So it's maze clue number five. The question is who am I and the answer. Now if I start typing it in wrong, I get a message that says keep trying. In this case, it needed to have a capital O. I'm going to capitalize that O. The keep trying message goes away. I will click submit and I get confirmation that I've solved that section of the escape. Once you've finished the maze, you are going to want to share that maze as part of your escape. And the best way to share the maze is to click send and establish a link that will link somebody directly to the maze. I like to shorten the URL because it's a little bit easier to use. And then you simply copy that URL. The copy the URL, once clicked, will allow someone to access the form. Another really great way to get the forms in the hands of people is to just use a QR code. And we've talked about QR codes before, but you can also watch my video on QR code creation on my YouTube channel if you're interested in more information in creating QR codes. Otherwise, good luck creating your form.